August 2023 will be a crazy month for astronomy lovers, with several notable celestial events taking place throughout the month, so it is safe to say that you can see a lot of cool events. This month marks the occurrence of the only two supermoons of the entire year, and one of them will even be the blue moon. You can also witness an incredible meteor shower, the best time to watch a beautiful planet, and way more. So make sure you like this video, follow this account, and turn on the post notifications if you don't want to miss other videos. However, let's start with the first event of the month. On August 1st is the first of the two supermoons in the year 2023. Our natural satellite will be in the constellation Capricornus. The prefix super means that the full moon will closely coincide with our natural satellite's closest approach to the Earth. So it seems larger than normal. On August 10th is the best time to view Mercury since it will be at its highest point above the horizon in the evening sky. Mercury's orbit is closer to the Sun than that of the Earth, which means that it always appears close to the Sun and is faded because of the Sun's brightness most of the time. You can only observe it for a few days each time it reaches its greatest separation from the Sun. This phenomenon repeats itself approximately once every three to four months and occurs alternately during the morning or afternoon, depending on whether Mercury is to the east or west of the Sun. Look for the planet low in the western sky just after sunset. On August 13th is the Perseid meteor shower. Look for its radiant point in the constellation Perseus from around midnight in your local time. Under ideal conditions, you could see up to 100 meteors an hour. The 10% illuminated moon will be in the waning crescent phase and won't obstruct the view. The meteor shower will be best seen from the northern hemisphere. On August 16th is new moon. That means the moon will locate it on the same side of the Earth as the sun and will not be visible in the night sky. This is also the best time of the month to observe faint objects such as galaxies and star clusters because there is no moonlight to interfere. On August 27th, Saturn will reach opposition to the sun. The ringed planet will be located in the constellation Aquarius, looking like a yellowish dot to the naked eye. It's brighter than at any other time of the year and is visible throughout the night. This is the best time to observe and photograph Saturn and its rings. This is almost the maximum inclination they can have so you can clearly observe them. However, even being at its closest approach to the Earth, you can only distinguish Saturn as a star-shaped spot of light with the naked eye. On August 30th, Saturn will meet the 14-day-old moon in the constellation Aquarius. It's too far to spot them at once via telescope, but you'll easily see the conjunction with the naked eye or binoculars. On August 31st is the super blue moon. Our natural satellite will be in the constellation Aquarius. But will our natural satellite really turn blue? The term blue moon does not refer to the moon's color. Instead, it is used to describe an additional full moon that occurs within a single calendar month. The moon does not appear blue during a blue moon. However, in very rare cases, the moon can appear bluish in color due to certain atmospheric conditions, such as smoke or dust particles in the air. These particles can scatter the light, causing the moon to take on a bluish hue. But this phenomenon is not related to the occurrence of a blue moon as defined by the calendar. Which of these events are you most excited about? Write it in the comments. By the way, don't forget to like this video and give me a little feedback in the comments. And as always, I hope that I...